Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review and here I have the G.I. Joe Classified Series uh, Snake Supreme Cobra Commander. Uh, it finally came in, um, I got it from Hasbro Pulse, uh, the only place where you could get it and um, it was about 40 bucks for it and it's very rare. Um, but yeah, let's go over packaging here. So you get the G.I. Joe Classified Series here, you get the Cobra Commander, and then you get the picture of the Cobra Commander. I love the uh, the gold kind of texture to it. Um, and then some red, the two main colors of the boxing. And then you get the Cobra symbol in the back there. And you get that big Cobra in the background there that's made of gold. And then, like I said, you get that Commander there. And then the side here, you get the Cobra symbol there. And you get a bunch of other cool details throughout there. You get some red in there too. So that's pretty cool. And then here's the back here. So it's kind of like texturized. Uh, once I take off the slip, it'll look a little bit different, but that kind of looks like a Cobra to me. So yeah, and then like you can tell it's textured, like if I pop that out a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And the other side's the same thing as the other one. Here's the top that has, I gotta flip it up the right way. So it's like the ninth figure of the wave and you get that Cobra head there and a bunch of other um, details. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. And then we'll take off the slip here. So yeah, and then you get that Cobra symbol there and then a bunch of other details throughout there too. And then here's the side that has nine there and then you get the Cobra signs there and you get the Snake, uh, Snake Supreme Cobra Commander. And here's the back with that same detailing, and then you can sell these. I'll show you what it does here in a minute. And you get a picture of the Cobra Commander on the side. Here's the top, saying the same thing, basically. It's a slip, so I didn't have to show you that. And then this thing opens up just like this, which is pretty cool. And that's why there's like these things here to help open it. But this is a pretty cool way to open it. And then you just pop that off, I think, no? Yeah. So, and then I'll take off the figure here in a second. And I got that Cobra Commander out of the packaging here and in the background is the Cobra chair here. And you get the cushions and then a red carpet there. So that's pretty cool detail. So I'm definitely keeping the box. Um, but yeah, I got the Cobra Commander out of package. And so we'll go over the figure itself. Once I zoom out a little bit here, aim down a little bit. All right, so let's go over the accessories first. So we got one black fist hand so that's pretty cool and then we got one pointing hand that came with the uh, regular cobra commander and then we get his sword this one's a little different so this one's all gold for the cobra here it's the same mold and you get the red grip and then a gold blade this is pretty cool i like the uh i like the design of the sword by the way and then you get this other little like staff thing whatever you want to call it uh this wasn't with the last one uh so we get a, a cobra here at the top and then we get some more detail it's basically just a staff basically um then we get this little pistol here so it's an interesting looking pistol the muzzle looks a little weird there but gold too it's an interesting looking pistol and we get this little spear whoops and yeah. All right, now let's go over to Cobra Commander. Let me turn on my light real quick here so you guys can see. There we go. So let's go over to Cobra Commander real quick here. So I like this figure a lot, it looks really cool. So on the top you get the gold detailing right here. You get a little bit of like a misalignment there kinda. You could kinda tell. And then there's a little bit of missing paint there, but you get the cool gold there uh, outlined with red. Missed a little bit of paint there too. It's a matte black for the helmet too. That's pretty cool. You get that detail in there with the red, a little bit of gold, gold outline around the bottom of the helmet. You get the gold visors. So here's the cape, really reflective, scaly. And uh, you get the red in the inside, it's very, it's a soft good. And then in the shirt here, you get the scaly detailing here on the top there. It's pretty cool. You get some gold detailing here, red dots, gold cobra symbol in the center with the gold chains across. 
gold bell with some red cobra buckle there and then gold outlining with the scale detail there and then for the sword you get the gold uh, scale detail there with a the red outline around it so that's pretty cool gold uh, black pants with the scales down the sides the pants gold detailing red knee pads with the gold outlining around it and more gold detailing around the other side um toes are painted red with scales and yeah and then let's go over the articulation it's the same mold so it shouldn't be that much different from the other one so the head can hinge down that far uh just up that far now a whole lot oh yeah one thing i forgot to mention the collar here it's pretty cool uh and then also the cape you could take off if you want to too and you have that gold cumber symbol there on the each one of the solar things there um but yeah, you can look left and right. A uh, little hip pivoting. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. Uh, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows go way past 90 degrees. Wrist can hinge down that far. Up that far. 360 rotation. Uh, he has an ab crunch that goes that forward that far. Backwards that far. He also has that gold uh, cobra symbol on that um forearm there so that's pretty cool and red forearm guards i forgot to mention um he has a waist swivel so you can do 360 rotation around there uh his legs can kick out that far forward that far backwards that far thigh cut double jointed knees he has a shin cut or boot cut uh ankles can hinge down that far up that far uh nice ankle pivot and there's the Snake Supreme Cobra Commander for you. So I like this figure a lot. I recommend getting them before it gets really expensive. Um, so detailing is really good. I love the detailing, the gold everywhere around it. It's just awesome. Gold outlining, uh, like the accessories are pretty cool too. I like that a lot. Came with the right amount of accessories. The boxing is amazing. I love that. So I'm definitely keeping the boxing because of that. Um, and then, uh, but the articulation is pretty good. Can't look up and down that much. Paint detailing is good. Like I said, awesome. Uh, just a little miss paints on the helmet. Not that big of a deal for me. Um, besides that, I recommend getting them before it gets really expensive at some point. Um, and then uh, don't forget to check out my Twitch. I try twitching every day. Uh, doing Friday the 13th with friends if they're ever on. I'm trying to get them to get on, but they don't. <laughs> I'm trying to do a YouTube video of Friday the 13th, one that has everyone in it, but most of the time they just make an excuse not to get on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Twitch is in the description and the name is The Hunter Collector. Uh, but besides that, that's all I've got.